What's going on YouTube? SciGuy29 coming at you on an incredibly windy Sunday afternoon in central Iowa. And I uh, thought I'm at school working, as you can tell. This is not my usual video location, but uh, at school doing some work. I've got piles everywhere. Not much different from my card room in that respect. Um, but I was have, watching some videos or had some videos on and I had not seen uh, Jason Mr. Fisher Bikes contest yet and I ran across it because I hadn't seen anything. I've stupid busy this time of year. We've got 20 days of school left, so four weeks. Um, my track season is winding down. We've got one week of that left and then hopefully I can get back to watching a few more videos, commenting, making some more content uh, as we, we get closer to those summer months. But uh, for those that don't know, he's running a contest. Um, answer two questions. Um, why I watch the videos, answer two questions. Why do I watch the videos that I watch on YouTube? And why do I collect what I collect? And two things kind of intertwine there. Let's start with question number one. Why do I watch the videos that I do? And uh, really there's there's four main reasons. Uh, first one being um, I want to learn. Okay, The videos that I know I'm going to learn something from. Uh, John Mangini, Nuff Said Cards, uh, Legends Never Die, uh, God I'm forgetting, TJ, TJ Mack. Um, just those aren't all of them by any means, but those are the guys that I I connect with on a learning uh, platform because I'm always going to learn something uh, when I watch. And if, with Jake, it, it might be a, a positive message that I need to hear as well. So, um, secondly, I like videos that make me think. Um, and some of those guys I just mentioned go into that category as well. Uh, Jason's one of those guys. Shout out, Mr. Fishbike. To one of those guys that makes me think uh, when I. I watch. Uh, usually has something that I go, hmm, I never thought of that. Uh, and there's lots of other guys um, that, that do that as well. Um, thirdly, uh, people that collect stuff that I like uh, or that I collect, I, I, I gravitate toward that. And lastly, it's it's those people that I interact with um, through videos. Uh, I don't have a lot of collecting friends here where I live. Uh, I've got two or three basically. Now on a brighter note, my, my daughter's boyfriend right now uh, collects some and has has a son that collects some. So um, he just gave me four cards. That's a different video though. I don't have those with me today. Um, but those are the reasons uh, I watch the videos that I do. I want to learn. That's why we're here, I think. Uh, you know, I, the entertainment part is great if it happens, uh, but I want to learn. I want someone to make me think, uh, see things that I like and might be interested in. And I, I want to interact with people. Um, that brings me to the second question, uh, and that is, why do I collect what I collect? Well, I'm kind of like Jason in a lot of reasons. I, I was born in Iowa, like he was. I didn't know that. Uh, didn't know he was an Iowegian, uh, born anyway. Um, so that's awesome. Um, but there's just so many things I collect that I love. Uh, it's one of the reasons I always end my videos with collect what you love, love what you collect. Uh, it's pretty simple. And I've got a few examples here of that. Uh, first off, uh, we'll, we'll start with this guy uh, with the, the draft just getting over yesterday. It's Mr. Hakeem Butler. Uh, and this is an auto from uh, rookie endorsements from Illusions. 19. 19 Illusions. It's numbered 2 out of 150. He was a guy that played wide receiver at Iowa State. My channel name, SciGuy29. Uh, Iowa State Cyclones grew up uh, going to football and basketball games, wrestling meets, baseball games when they had a program. They don't have a, a baseball program anymore. But uh, something that I've been drawn to and still continue to this day, um, enjoy mostly. This last season was hard. They they were painful in football and and inconsistent in basketball. But I love them anyway, and it's a connection I have to them. Um, the 29 part, for those that don't know, in my title or channel name, 
uh, is for Dan Quisenberry, was my cousin, uh, my second cousin. Uh, my grandma and his mom are sisters. My grandma has passed away. His mom is still alive. Unfortunately, Dan is not. I don't have any Dan cards with me. Um, but those are two reasons I collect. Dan was uh, one of the greatest individuals I've ever met in my life. I'm not saying that because he was my cousin. He truly was. And I think if you talk to most anybody, I've yet to ever have anybody say, that guy was an asshole or that guy was a jerk. You just don't hear that. So th those are some reasons. Other reasons I collect. Um, I love history. Uh, and the history of baseball uh, coincides so much with the history of the world that it, it kind of goes together. Here's just a little example. Just got this in, Mr. Duke Snyder. And this is uh, number 40 of 50 uh, from Donruss Diamond Kings in 08, or excuse me, Threads in 08. Uh, a historical person there. Love the Brooklyn Dodgers. Love that 50s time period. Uh, can't read enough, learn enough, uh, not only about the players, but the cards, uh, the stadiums. Uh, all those things just seem magical to me. Uh, I heard my dad talk about them, my, my grandpas talk about them. Uh, the first books I read about baseball were Willie Mays and, and Mickey Mantle and Babe Ruth. So, you know, you get those, those nostalgic things. Um, and then now, my first major league game I went to uh, was a Twins game. I uh, got to see Rod Carew, didn't get an autograph ring. I got a bat. They were playing the Royals. I got a bat from Bob Stinson from the Royals uh, at that time. Jumped in there. Uh, been a Twins fan ever since. Uh, that was before Dan played for the Royals. Uh, I think it was 1975 or 76 uh, in that area. And uh, been a Twins fan ever since. And then, so here's, here's a nice shiny Joe Maurer, which is my main PC outside of Dan. I just, I don't have a lot of Dan's cards that I don't have. I think there's seven but I'm still trying to track down somewhere in there, give or take. And I need to do more work on that to make sure that's where I'm at. But um, connection to today's game. Uh, I love players that uh, play the game hard, and what I consider play the game the right way. So that's why this guy has become probably my favorite modern player. I, not probably, is my favorite modern player, uh, Mr. Juan Soto. And this is from Topps. Big League, little 8-bit blasters, old video game reference, but I just love the way he plays, uh, takes pitches. I wish he, yeah, obviously the last year plus has been a little shaky compared to the rest of his career, but you can't deny his talent. And I just love the way he plays. I love the way he plays it with a passion and a smile on his face uh, the majority of the time. So uh, that's why I collect what I collect. Um, it's those connections that I have. Uh, to the things that I do collect. So, thanks, Jason, for the contest. Love the channel. Thanks for making me think. And I love seeing them. I'm going to watch more of these responses uh, as we go. So, till next time, like I said, remember, collect what you love, love what you collect.